as a ruck and a midfield, do you have little signals that you use for ball ups and stoppages around the ground? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna give you one that will create so much synergy between the ruck and the mids. When there's a stoppage around the ground, whether that's a ball up or a throw in, when you come to those set plays, you don't have much time to set up. So it's really important that when the umpire has the ball in his hands, and he's circulating, he's nominating the rucks, that you have some calls in place with your rucks. When you come to these stop plays, whether it's in the forward line, throughout the midfield and the back line, you want to have synergy with everyone on the ground. And you want to make the calls really easy to operate and understand. So as an example, if I had my opponent on my right side, and that meant I was using my left hand, so if I wanted to hit in front of the stoppage, I'd tap my front leg, if I wanted to hit on my side to my hip, I'd tap on my left side. And if I wanted to flick it over the back, I would tap on my left bum cheek. So the same principle would go if the opponent was on my left side. So I'd do the signal as well. But knowing that on if my opponent was on my left, that was dominant for my right hand. If I clinched my fist, that meant I was punching it forward. So when you come to those stop plays, you want to have something that's really easy to understand really easy to set up and clear and precise. The hands for me, the hand gestures, I didn't have to call anything out. It was easy to look at. Midfielders knew what was going on and it was easy to have that synergy to know where I was gonna hit the ball.